Welcome to the video lecture series of Hand Embroidery Class 10th Unit 2 and Session 2. In this video, we will learn to make a flower with the help of buttonhole stitch. This is a variation of a buttonhole stitch. Buttonhole stitch is one of the basic stitch of hand embroidery which forms a series of loop stitches. Before starting with the variation, we will firstly learn how to do a buttonhole stitch. So for that, we need to do preparation before embroidery. List of materials are hoops, fabric starch free, carbon paper, threads, needles, pencil, scale and zigzag scissor for cutting the finishing of the fabric. Now let us fix the fabric in the loop. Loosen the screw of the ring, fix the fabric on it. Tighten the screw of the ring, pull the fabric for a tighter look. Now draw two parallel lines take a thread in the needle tie a knot at the one end of a thread now insert the needle from one point on the top parallel line Roll the thread. Now keep the needle straight again from the lower line to the upper line. Insert the needle. This will create a loop. Make sure that the thread is rounded. Similarly, go to the next line. Make sure that the needle is kept straight while going through the fabric and the thread is rounded towards the needle. This is the basic buttonhole stitch and this is how a series of loops are created. While completing the stitch, make sure that you are inserting the needle towards back exactly by the edge and now lock. This will lock the stitches and the series. Now this is called the buttonhole stitch because it is mainly used into creating buttonholes. There are various styles and techniques of how beautifully a buttonhole stitch is used. Then let's come to its one of the variation. In this video, we will create a flower using a buttonhole stitch. Now let's trace the design on the fabric. For that, take a plain white fabric, take a tracing paper, the design is already there, place the carbon paper between the tracing paper and the fabric. Take a pencil. Now trace the design. Here I have taken two parallel circles which will help me to create a proportionate flower using the buttonhole stitch. The design is ready on the fabric. Now take a hoop, fix the traced fabric on the ring, make sure that the fabric is tight enough which will help us to do the embroidery easily. Tighten the screw of the ring, pull the fabric, make sure the fabric is tight enough on the ring which will help us to create a perfect embroidery. Now take a thread, insert it into the needle, tie a knot at the edge of the thread. Here I have taken three strings of a thread. You can also take six, you can also take two. Starting with the embroidery, insert the needle from back to front in the inner circle. Pull the thread out. As taught earlier, the buttonhole stitches from outer circle goes towards the inner circle. The thread is rounded. Remove the needle. Keep the needle straight while inserting. Continue doing the loops. Make sure you keep moving the ring 
which will help you to do the embroidery in a easier way as now you can see the flower is completing while finishing the stitch make sure to end the stitch on the side which will lock the complete flower turn at the back take a little fabric make a knot lock the stitch properly now cut the extra thread as you can see the front and the back have a neat finished look this embroidery can be beautifully used to create beautiful flowers motifs borders with the help of mirror work also you can use this embroidery and uh, you can use traditional embroideries in combination to create a motif to finish the sample firstly cut the extra threads remove the ring from the sample make sure you iron the sample for a beautiful crease free look so now let us conclude our video here firstly Trace the design on the fabric. Take needles, thread, start doing the embroidery. Do the finishing of the embroidery and your sample is ready. So, keep learning, keep enjoying and keep practicing this beautiful art of embroidery. Thank you.